This lesson will show how to solve a differential equation by using an integrating factor to form an exact differential equation. We want to solve the given differential equation, which I've already written in differential form. Notice how it appears to be in the form of an exact differential equation. Let's begin by verifying the given differential equation is not exact. Analyzing the differential equation, m is equal to y squared and n is equal to xy plus one. And now we'll determine the partial of m with respect to y and the partial of n with respect to x. The partial of m with respect to y is equal to the derivative of y squared with respect to y, which is two y. And the partial of n with respect to x is equal to the derivative of xy plus one with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which gives us y. Because the first order partials are not equal to each other, we know the given differential equation is not exact. So now we'll look for an integrating factor to form an exact differential equation from the given differential equation. And any solution to the new equation is also a solution to the original equation. To help us determine an integrating factor, we'll first determine the partial of m with respect to y minus the partial of n with respect to x, which is two y minus y or y. And then from here, we will either divide by n or divide by m. If we divide by n, we want the result to be a function of only x, and if that's the case, we let the quotient be equal to p of x, and the integrating factor is u of x equals e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. If we divide by m, we want the quotient to be a function of only y, and if that's the case, we call the quotient q of y, and the integrating factor is u of y equals e to the power of the opposite of the integral of q of y dy. So here we have the difference. We need to decide whether we should divide by m or n. Because we're looking for a function of only x or only y, notice we should divide by m. So we're gonna go ahead and divide this difference by m, meaning we're gonna divide by y squared. Simplifying, we have one over y. We divide it by m. We want a function of only y, which we have, which we call q of y. And now we know the integrating factor is u of y equals e to the power of the opposite of the integral of one over y dy, which gives us e to the power of negative natural log y, which we can also write as e to the power of natural log y to the power of negative one, giving us u of y, the integrating factor, is just y to the power of negative one. Or if we want one over y. So now we're going to multiply both sides of the visual equation by one over y. This gives us one over y times y squared dx plus one over y times the quantity xy plus one times dy equals one over y times zero on the right is still zero. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have y dx plus the quantity x plus one over y dy equals zero. Now there should be an exact differential equation which we'll verify in just a moment. Any solution to this differential equation is also a solution to the original differential equation. Let's continue on the next slide. And let's verify we do have an exact differential equation. In this form, notice m is equal to y and n is equal to x plus one over y. The partial of m with respect to y is equal to one. The partial of n with respect to x is also equal to one. So we do have an exact differential equation where the solution is equal to big F equals C such that the partial of big F with respect to x equals m and the partial of big F with respect to y equals n. Let's integrate both sides of the first equation with respect to x, which gives us big F of x comma y equals the integral of m with respect to x, where m is equal to y. Just remember, we integrate on the right. Instead of plus c for the constitutive integration, we will have plus a function of y or plus a of y, because when we integrate the partial of f with respect to x, we are not recovering the part of big F that is a function of y. So the integral of y dx equals xy plus a of y. And now we use the second equation to determine a of y. Well, the partial of big F with respect to y is equal to 
the derivative of x y plus a y of the respect to y, which is equal to x plus a prime of y, which must equal n, and n is equal to x plus one divided by y. Well, if x plus a prime of y is equal to x plus one over y, we now know that a prime of y is equal to one over y, and therefore a of y is equal to the integral of one over y dy, which is equal to natural log absolute value of y. So now we know the potential function big F again is equal to x y plus a of y, and we now know a of y is natural log absolute value of y, which gives us x y plus natural log absolute value of y, and therefore the implicit form of the general solution is big F equals C, or in our case, x y plus natural log absolute value of y equals C. This is the implicit form of the general solution, but there is one solution that doesn't fit this form. If we go back to the original equation, there is the singular solution of y equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.